Baba. Oh, we give you all the glory. We give you honor. Yes, we give you all the glory, Daddy. We give you honor. Yes, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Oh, we give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Yes, we give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. That is why you are called Jehovah. Yes, Lord. That is why you are called Jehovah. Mm. What you say you will do. That is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. Jehovah Nisi. That is why you are called Jehovah. Jehovah Shama. That is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, yes, Lord. What you say you will do. That is what you are doing. That is why you are called Jehovah, reliable, reliable God, reliable God, reliable, reliable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God, available God, available. Available God, available God, available, available God. And I'm a Sunayama Nariamba, available, available God. Reliable one, reliable, reliable one. Glorious God, beautiful King. Excellence, one we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King. Excellence, one we bow before your throne. Oh, we bow before your throne. We worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Oh, we bow before your throne. We worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Glorious God. Beautiful King. Excellent one. We bow before your throne. Adonai, we worship you. Yes, Lord. Son of God, Son of God, you are so good. You are so good, Almighty God. Hallow be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. We worship you. Yes, we worship you. Son of God, Son of God, you are so good. You are so good, Almighty God. Hallow be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. From east to west, there is no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. Hallelujah. From east to west. There is no one like you, 
There is no other God from north to south. I say there is no other God. All other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is none like you. All other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is none like you. O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. O oh Lord, my God. How excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We esteem your praise glorious. We bow down before your throne. We join the 24 elders to adore you. We join the host of heaven to declare your glory. We say, be thou exalted. Our Father, we magnify your name. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts, O God, with praise. We give you preeminence, O God, as the governor of nations. We bless your name, O God. We thank you. We exalt you. We give you praise, God, for this altar of exchange. We bow down before your throne and we say, be thou exalted forevermore. Lord, we pray that the praises of the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts will be acceptable in your sight. We pray that our praises we are sent to you as a sweet incense our prayer we are sent to you as a pleasing offering in the mighty name of jesus we thank you for the privilege to come today to pray for our nation nigeria father accept our sacrifice accept our prayer in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you so much for joining us this is Neymar true thank you for joining us for the midday watch where we have built an altar of exchange before the lord throughout the month of february leading to the election Today, we're going to be reading from Nehemiah chapter 9. Please open with me as we read from the New King James Version, Nehemiah chapter 9. It says, the people confess their sins. Now, on the 24th day of this month, the children of Israel were assembled with fasting in sackcloth and with dust on their heads. Then those of Israelite lineage separated themselves from all foreigners, and they stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers, and they stood up in their place and read from the book of the law of the Lord their God for one fourth of the day, and for another fourth, another fourth they confessed. For another fourth, please excuse me. And another fourth they confessed and worshipped the Lord their God. Then Jeshua, Benai, Cadmiel. Shebaniah, Bunai, Sherebiah, Benai, and Shenanai stood on the stairs of the Levites and cried out with a loud voice to the Lord their God. And the Levites, Jeshua, Kadmiel, Benai, Ashabneah, Ashab, Ashab, Sherebiah, Hodijah, Shebaniah, and Petathiah said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God forever and ever. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You have made heaven. The heaven, <clears throat> the heaven of heavens with all their host, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The host of heaven worships you. You are the Lord God who chose Abraham and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans and gave him the name Abraham. You found his heart faithful before you and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, and the Girgashites to give it to his descendants. You have performed your words, for you are righteous. You saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt and heard their cry by the Red Sea. You showed signs and wonders against Pharaoh and against all his servants, 
and against all the people of, the, of his land. For you knew that they acted proudly against them. So you made a name for yourself as it is this day. And you divided the sea before them so that they went through the midst of the sea on the dry land and their persecutors, persecutors you threw into the deep as a stone into the mighty waters. Moreover, you led them by day with a cloudy pillar and by night with a pillar of fire to give them light on the road which they should travel. You came down also on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven and gave them just ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commandments. You made known to them your holy Sabbath and commanded them precepts, statutes and laws. But the, by the hand of Moses, your servant, you gave them bread from heaven for their hunger and you brought them water out of the rock for their thirst and told them to go in to possess the land which you have sworn to give them. Verse 16, but they and our fathers acted proudly, hardened their necks and did not heed your commandments. They refused to obey and they were not mindful of your wonder, but, they, but that you did among them. But they hardened their necks and in their rebellion, you appointed a leader to return to their bondage. But you are God, ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, abundant in kindness, and did not forsake them. Even when they made a molded calf for themselves and said, this is your God that brought you up out of Egypt and worked great provocations. Yet in your manifold mercies, you did not forsake them in the wilderness. The pillar of the cloud did not depart from them by day to lead them on the road, nor the pillar of fire by night to show them light. And the way they should go, you also gave your good spirit to instruct them and did not withhold your manna from their mouth and gave them water for their thirst. Forty years you sustained them in the wilderness. They lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out and their shoes did not swell. Mm -hmm. Their feet did not swell. Pardon me. Moreover, you gave them kingdoms and nations and divided them into districts. So they took possession of the land of Sion, the land of the king of Eshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. You also multiplied their children as the stars of heaven and brought them into the land, which you had told their fathers to go in and possess. So the people went in and possessed the land. You subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave them into their hands with their kings and the people of the land that they might do with them as they wished. And they took strong cities and a rich land and possessed houses full of all goods, cisterns already dug, vineyards, olive groves and fruit trees in abundance. So they ate and were filled and grew fat and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you. Cast your laws behind their back and killed your prophets who testified against them to turn them to yourself. And they walked great provocation. Therefore, you delivered them into the hand of their enemies who oppressed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried to you, you heard from heaven. And according to your abundant mercies, you gave them deliverers who saved them from the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they again did evil before you. Therefore, you left them in the hand of their enemies so that they had dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried to you, you heard them from heaven. And many times you delivered them according to your mercies. Verse 29. And testified against them that you might bring them back to your law. Yet they acted proudly and did not heed your commandments, but sinned against your judgment, which if a man does, he shall live by them. And they shrugged their shoulders, stiffened their necks, and would not hear. Yet for many years you had patience with them and testified against them by your spirits in your prophets. Yet they will not listen. Therefore, you give them into the hand of the peoples of the land. Nevertheless, in your great mercy, you did not utterly consume them nor forsake them. For you are God, gracious and merciful. Now, therefore, our God, the great, the mighty and awesome God, who keeps covenant and mercy, do not let all the trouble seem small before you. That has come upon us, our kings and our princes, our priests and our prophets, our fathers and all your people from the days of the kings of Assyria until this day. However, 
you are just in all that has befallen us. For you have dealt failed faithfully, but we have done wickedly. Neither our kings nor our princes, our priests nor our fathers have kept your law, nor heeded your commandments and your testimonies, which they testified against them. For they have not served you in their kingdom, or in many good things that you have given them, or in the large and rich land which you have set before them, nor did they turn from their wicked works. Here we are, servants today, and the land that you gave to our fathers to eat its fruit and its bounty. Here we are, servants in it, and it's yield much increase to the king. You have set over us because of our sins. Also, they have dominion over our bodies and over our cattle at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. Verse 38, the last verse. And because of all this, we are a sure, we make a sure covenant and write it. Our leaders, our Levites, and our priests seal it. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his words today in Jesus' name. I want us to give thanks to God for the privilege to read the word, to hear the word and to pray. I want us to thank the almighty God for the privilege to come and pray for Nigeria. Come on, give him praise. You can see all that we read here. Many times Israel failed. Many times Israel fell. But God still sustained Israel. God is still merciful to Nigeria. It's because of Niger it's because of God's mercy that Nigeria is not consumed. Come on, give him praise today. Exalt his holy name. Say, Lord, we come to you. We thank you that your name is exalted over Nigeria. We thank you because you are our God. We bless your name because we have no other God but you. We give you praise. The great and mighty God, the only one of Israel, the merciful one, the mighty man in battle, the mighty man of war. We bless your name. We thank you. We exalt your name over Nigeria. We proclaim your goodness over Nigeria. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask for mercy. Ah, where we have sinned. Our leaders have sinned. Our fathers have sinned. The prophets have sinned. The priests have sinned. Father Lord, we know we ourselves have sinned. We have not kept your commandment. Just like Neymar said, just like the prayers uttered. By the priest, we have come as the gatekeepers. Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy on our nation. Have mercy on all of us. Have mercy on the church. The church that should be the standard has compromised on many levels. Have mercy. Our governors, our senators. Some of them, even professing Christians, have become corrupt. They have become abominable men. They have turned to deity. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on our nation, Nigeria, where we traded gods. Have mercy on Nigeria. We plead the blood of Jesus over the 36 states of Nigeria. We plead the blood of Jesus to God for redemption. We plead the blood of Jesus for atonement. We plead the blood of Jesus for restructuring. We plead the blood of Jesus for consecration. We plead the blood of Jesus, O Lord Father, for amendment. Let the blood of Jesus speak righteousness and equity and justice into our nation. Our Lord, we pray our for the Thursday list, oh God. We pray for Kogi State. Please look in the chat, you will find it there. In the chat room, we pray for Kogi State. We pray for Kwara State. We pray for Lagos State. We plead the blood of Jesus. We decree redemption over Nasarawa State, over Ninja State, over Ogun State, over Undo State. We say, Lord, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign. King of Zion, Judas, Lion, reign, Jesus, reign over Nigeria, reign, Jesus, reign over Kogi, Kwara, Lagos, reign, Jesus, reign, King of Zion, Judas, Lion, reign, Jesus, reign over Nasarawa, over Niger State, reign, Jesus, reign. Over Ogun State, over Undo State, reign Jesus, reign. King of Zion, Judas, Lion, reign Jesus, reign. You are the King of Zion, Judas, Lion, reign. Jesus reign, ezama kotoli aba zune keteli aba, ore mo zune keteli aba zune gedeli aba zune gede. Apa kotole gede gede. Oh Father, we ask that you reign. 
Over Kogi states, we ask that you reign. Over Kwara states, we lift up Kwara states. We lift up Lagos states. We lift up Nasarawa. We lift up Niger states. We lift up Ogun state. We lift up on those states. Lord, we pray that every agenda of Satan in those states be overturned in the name of Jesus. Erista nama gasileki amazule kete orima shonda kateli abazule gede na erimo zule kitali amazule gede erima sologo dori abazule kete ariba sele Ge de 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 ori mozule kitali bro sondo godoli aba ori majine kitali amazule kete era bazule kitali amazule kete ni amazule kete aye besile kitali abazule kete li abazule kete ori mozune kete li abada da da in Jesus mighty name I want us to pray that the Lord will deliver Nigeria from violence the Bible says. Uh, that our officers will be peace, our exactors, our senators will be righteousness, our magistrates will be peace, our exactors, our legislators will be peace, our our exactors, our senators, our governors, our presidents will be will be will be there will be righteousness. I want us to pray. The Bible says that violence shall no, no longer be heard in our land, wasting or destruction within our borders, but our words shall be called salvation and our gates praise. Can you see the opera in the nation? All kind of things that are being done that inciting evil, inciting violence, killing people, shooting openly, harassing people, harassing the citizen, ah, you know, oppressing the people. Ah, the common man cannot eat even though he has money in the bank. Those who are hardworking, I saw a video that made me cry. A young man, he said that they can't go to work because they do not have any means of doing so. I want us to pray. And I lived and I grew up in Nigeria. Some people only work daily. They only get those daily wages that will sustain their family, that will keep their family. For example, the person who is driving the Kekena Pep or the person that is driving, or you know, the Okada, the, the, the bicycle, or you know, or the person who is working in transportation, or the market women who sell their wares per day. You know, if there's any unrest, they will be hungry for days. I want us to pray and say, Lord, have mercy on Nigeria. We cry to you because of the poor. The Bible said we should lift up our voice on behalf of the speechless, on behalf of those who have been appointed to die. Lord, we cry out on behalf of Nigeria. We say, Lord, deliver Nigeria from those who oppress her. Father, we pray ah, that your loving kindness, oh Lord, Father, will be revealed over Nigeria. Ah, Father, Lord, we pray, deliver us, so oh God. Have mercy on Nigeria. Give Nigeria help from trouble. Ah, for vain is the help of man. Oh, the Bible says that the help of man is useless. Ah, the help of man is vain. Ah, Father, Lord, we are not asking no Lord Father for any man to rule we are asking that Jesus you take the pride of place in Nigeria you will rule and the man of your right hand will rule and Father we pray that you sanitize every arm of our government Ah, Lord, oh Lord, Father, sanitize with your fire. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that there will be a holy sanitation. Ah, Father, in the presidency in Arso Rock Villa. Ah, Lord, in the National Assembly, in the Senate. Ah, Father, Lord, in the House, oh God, we pray. Ah, Father, Lord, for a sanitation, oh Lord, Father, we pray that you send your ruling council of angels into Nigeria, into federal capital territory. You will install, oh God, righteous, oh Lord, Father, governors in our nation, Nigeria. We plead the blood of Jesus over SCT Abuja. Risto Namaho. Rikento Liabasulekate. Arikete Liabasulegade. Yamazulegade. Our Father, we pray. O Rimo Soloko Toli Ababa. O righteous leaders, righteous men will be installed over Nigeria. Father, you said in your word that the pillars of your throne, they are the pillars of righteousness and justice. We pray. Ah, the Lord, that you will install the pillars of righteousness and justice in Abuja and Lord in the 36 states of Nigeria. Father, we pray, put our foundation with your holy fire. Put our foundation with your holy fire. You said now the axe is laid to the root of the tree. Ah, Father, Lord, every foundational error, every foundational covenant, every wicked deity, Orimo Sotokotolia, ah, Lord, that the leaders, the family fathers covenanted Nigeria to, we renounce and we break such evil covenants in Jesus' name. The foundational covenant, Ozima Tole, ah, the altars of blood, ah, the altars of deity, we pull them down in the name of Jesus. 
us to say, now the axe is laid to the root of the tree. Uh, whatever my father has not planted is uprooted. We declare every unrighteousness, every perversity, every corruption, uh, rege dege, every blood testiness, kidnapping, violence, robbery, zamakata, embezzlement, marokata, liababa, tribalism, orimo solokoto, ethnic divides, erama uh, sokoto, liabasulekate, uh, nepotism, mazule kitalia, bazule kitalia, baba, every dissension, contention, violence, bloodshed, kidnapping, arege de gede gede, ah, Father Lord, terrorism, oh, Father Lord, every terrorism, act of terrorism, ah, Father Lord, we hand over to you that you will judge every one of them. Let there be immediate judgment on all those who are harassing and oppressing Nigeria. Riga do riyama zule kete, oh, rimo soto kete, ah, the Bible says in Proverbs eleven twenty one, it said, go, join hand in hand, the wicked will not go unpunished. Ah, samanto le ge 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 ge. Everyone who has teamed up together ah, to harass Nigeria, to oppress the people, and ah, to do more wickedly. Ah, Father Lord, to make sure that they experience their judgment. Because you said in your word that it's a just thing for those who oppress us, oh God, and harass us to suffer tribulation. You said those who trouble us. Ah, Father Lord, all the troublers of Nigeria. Ah, Father Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will contend with them. Zima so loco sakata. Ah, Father, we pray that you give Nigeria rest from trouble. Ah, give Nigeria rest from wars. E raba so leketeli ababa. Ah, Father, we pray that you stir up zeal among intercessors. Nobody will be tired. Ah, Father, Lord, nobody will burn out among the intercessors. Oh, Lord, Father, especially the intercessors on this altar, we receive grace for grace. Ah, we receive revelation knowledge. We receive empowerment. We grow from strength to strength. Ah, zuleki amas zulegade. Intercessors, pray, pray. Pray, pray, receive strength for yourself and for all those who are crying to the Lord day and night, giving him no rest until Nigeria becomes a praise on the earth. Say, Lord, we multiply capacity, we increase in tenacity, we increase in strength, we increase in audacity, we increase in intensity, we will not give up, we will not back down. The Bible said they go from strength to strength. Everyone in Zion appears before God. Receive strength, uh, receive strength. Father, stir up zeal, uh, stir up zeal. Eriba solakata. Uh, Father, Lord, raise the Debras, raise the Daniels, Origada, Yabada, da, da, da. raise the Mordecai, the Esther, those who will fast and pray, just as you have called us to this fasting and prayer. Ah, we declare that our fasting will not be in vain, just like Nehemiah, Ezra, the priest, oh God, ah, Father Lord, as they came before you and they prayed, ah, you return Israel back to our God. We pray, Ariba ah, Zadagada, ah, stir up zeal for Nigeria. Let the gospel plot prosper in Nigeria. Let righteousness, O oh Lord Father, be exalted in Nigeria because as we exalt your righteous ordinance, your precept, your statutes, and your laws and commandments, O oh Lord, you will exalt us also. You said, O oh Lord Father, righteousness exalt a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. Our Father Lord, we pray from the bottom of our heart. Our Father Lord, let righteousness be exalted in our streets, in our palaces. In our homes, on our altars, in our churches, in our schools, O oh God. Our Father, in our this is not market, oh Lord. A riba like a tent. On the streets in the community, our Father, let righteousness, O oh Lord Father, exalt Nigeria. Lord, raise Esther, O oh God. Our Father, those who will travel much day and night, O oh God, for the nation Nigeria. You said, shall a nation be born at once? You said, before Zion travel, she gave birth. You said, shall a nation be born in one day? You said, will you bring to the place of birth and shut the womb? Not you, not you, O oh God. Our Father, Lord, you are the one, O oh Lord Father, who curses everything, who starts, O oh Lord Father, ah, to finish, O oh God. You are the author and the companion. Completer. Father, complete that which you have started, the newness concerning Nigeria. Our hope is in you. Our hope is in you, not in a man. Our Father Lord, we are asking the man of your right hand. Let the power shift into the hand of such a one, the one that you have chosen. Father, we ask that you unseat every Haman and you install the Mordecai. Lord, install the Mordecai. Remove the Haman. Remove the Vashi, put the Esther in place. A rabbis to like a Our Father, we summon all the barracks to battle. We call them forth as your Debras, as the mothers and fathers of nation. A rabbis to like a as the spiritual gatekeeper in Nigeria. A rabbis to like We pray for restoration. We pray for reparation. We pray, oh God. Mm. 
for newness, oh God. Our Father, for our nation, Nigeria. Our Father, we pray for a restructuring. Our Father, we pray for renewal. Our Father, we pray for newness. You said you will do a new thing. Ah, you said, shall we not know it? You said, the Lord, it will spring forth. Our Father, we pray. Our Father, Lord, you said, even these things you declare. You said, those things have passed away. The old God things have become new. We prophesy concerning Nigeria. Ah, come on, intercessor, prophesy. We prophesy concerning Nigeria. Newness come. Righteousness come, transparency come, stability come, prosperity come, peace come, equity come, Father, we pray for stable power supply. We pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, proper structuring in our educational system. Proper medical outlets, oh God. Father, Lord, proper all of other networks, oh Lord, Father, all over the nation, our healthcare providers, all over the nation, a Zoom and Catholia Basa, our portable water, our proper food supply channels, in the name of Jesus, proper transportation network, a Riba Sulekete, a Yebe Sekete, on this altar, we know what makes a nation work. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, a Ribo Sulekitalia Bazada, O Rimo Sulekete, Father, Lord, let everything work in our nation, the way it's supposed to work. Ah, Father, we pray for technological advancement. Ah, Father, day, 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 day. Oh, we plead the blood of Yeshua over our financial system, over our banking system. Oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus over our economy. Ah, Father, Lord, redeem the Naira. Oh, Lord, heal our land. You said in your word. In Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if my people who are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. I will heal their land. Oh, Father, we plead the blood of Jesus, oh God, over our land. We say, hear us. Have mercy on us. Forgive us sir. in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father, Lord, we pray. Appoint, oh Lord, Father, nobles over us, oh God. Our Lord, not wicked tyrants, oh God. We pray you say what to you, O land, when your king is a child and your priestess feast in the morning. He said, but blessed are you, O land. Blessed are you, O Nigeria, when your king is the son of nobles and your priestess feast at the proper time for strength and not for drunkenness. Our Father, we pray. This is the newness that we call for. Our sons of nobles. Our Father, Lord, those who have a conviction of righteousness, who know how to rule, who know what to do, who knows what the nation ought to do like the sons of Isaac. Our Father Lord put such a one in command ah, in the name of Jesus. We put down all satanic structure, all early structure over our nation. Every determination of hell, we put them down because you said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty true God. We put down every agenda of Satan concerning Nigeria and we say, Lord, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. And together, we take our bread, let's take our communion because, you know, we seal our prayers with the blood of Jesus every day when we pray because the blood of Jesus has a voice. The Bible said we have come to the blood of sprinkling, the blood that speaks better things. Uh, can you imagine blood speaks? Uh, blood speaks. If people are using the blood of goats and bulls for sacrifice, if they are using the blood of fowls and hens for sacrifice, if they are using the blood of special animals for sacrifice, believe me, the blood of human is more powerful. And this is not just any human. This is a superhuman. This is perfect God perfect perfect man is blood as a voice. If the voice of Abel, if the voice of Abel's blood could cry for vengeance, let me tell you the voice of Jesus' blood is more powerful. And that is the reason why his blood was shed. And today we proclaim that blood over Nigeria for redemption, for a miracle, for overturn, for newness. Our Father, you said you will overturn, you will overturn until whose right it is you will give to him. Father, we thank you for the redemption over Nigeria as we eat this bread and as we drink, drink this cup. And together we live up our bread, we break it just as the body of Jesus Christ was broken, and we declare that Nigeria is redeemed from our sins in Jesus' mighty name. Eat your bread. And in the same manner, drink your cup. We seal our prayers, our petitions, and all our proclamations with the blood of Jesus. We declare that it is sealed in Jesus' name. Drink your cup. Lord, we thank you for the privilege to come. We thank you for the privilege to build this altar of exchange. We thank you because every one of us, Lord, we enjoy your light. You said they looked unto him and they were lighting 
and their faces were not ashamed. Father, I thank you because our prayers rise up to you as a sweet aroma. Thank you, Father, because you said you are pleased with Nehemiah troop. Thank you, Father, for the sacrifice of praise, the sacrifice of prayer. And Lord, we thank you for the intercessors. Every intercessor looking unto you, pray fervently for Nigeria. Father, Lord, especially on this altar, Father, bless each one. Cause your face to shine upon us. Father, is there any long-standing issue? Father, Lord, let there be a massive solution today. Father, is there anyone looking unto you for answers? Let them find answers right by them, right in them. Father, Lord, is there anyone looking for provision? Let them enjoy abundance. Father, Lord, is there any business struggling? Father, I declare an overturn in the name of Jesus. I speak abundance. I speak supernatural abundance. Is there anyone looking for the fruits of the womb? I declare angelic visitation like the parents of Samson God and like Abraham and Sarah God. Father, Lord, I pray for a miracle. Father, Lord, is there anyone looking unto you for their spouse, bone of bone, flesh of flesh? Father, Lord, meet them at this well, this well of salvation. <laughs> is there anyone looking for healing? Oh, Lord, you said healing is the children's bread. We drink from the well of salvation, the crystal lake pure, Lord, as diamond. And we declare, Lord, healing stream, healing stream. Angels minister to any everyone in Jesus' name. And Father, Lord, is there anyone looking up to you, Lord Father? Is there a riddle? Is there a pain, a contention? Let there be a release today. Our Lord, an overturn. And Father, we thank you because just as you promised us gold and silver, we take it. We enter in. And Father, Lord, we receive instruction for destiny. Thank you, eternal rock of ages, because it is done. Thank you because testimonies are bound to the praise and glory of your name. Thank you, Father, for the reward of obedience because we have obeyed you. Be thou exalted forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us. The Lord reward you mightily. Let's share the name of true benediction together. If you don't know it, you can look in the chat room. It's there. I am blessed with the blessing of the Father God Almighty. I am blessed with the blessing of heaven above in Christ Jesus. I am blessed with the blessing of the field. I am blessed with the blessing of the deep within. I am blessed with the blessing of the breast. The blessing of the breast is the blessing of marriage. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. The blessing of the womb is the blessing of fruitfulness and of course the blessing of wholeness. I want you to repeat with me. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. I am blessed with all spiritual, material and marital blessings this season. I am blessed when I go out and when I come in. My blessing exceeds that of my ancestors and all that those who have gone ahead of me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And so shall it be for every one of us on this altar in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. See you tomorrow as we continue on this altar as we pray for our children and their destiny. Bye for now.